After many hours, I have finally achieved Blood Torva. It looks... I, to be honest, it doesn't really look as great as I thought it would be. It's too gray. I'm sorry. It's just too gray, guys. We gotta, we gotta darken up these colors. Actually, I guess I could just go to my setting and just darken them. There we go. There's the Blood Torva. How do people play like this, by the way? Like on full darkness. This is crazy. Um, so yeah, I got this, as you guys see in the chat. Whisper was the final one, so... I'll just kind of go through them real quickly. So, like, Vard was the first one. Got it in about four-ish attempts. One of the orbs was wasted because I died as I got a drop from Vard. So, like, I got an Awakened Orb, and then I died, and then I went back, and I just clicked yes, like, start Awakened variant. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, uh, Leviathan was about 11, I want to say, and then Duke was about 9, and then Whisper was... I actually lost track with Whisper, but it was at least 12, and literally the first KC I did, I could have gotten it in like one but i died to or i got fucked up by the memory puzzle so i just didn't have enough sanity to make it through the final phase which was just aggravating because it would have been one and then for the like literally the next 10 or so times i kept messing up that stupid memory puzzle there's five like hp bars you have to see it was impossible like it, you literally just don't have time it's so i kind of got lucky on the last kill i just ended up you know, kind of guessing, <laughs> like literally guessing, and I just got it right. So they, I don't know. I feel like they need to do something with that. That's obnoxious. That awakened kill. The only thing hard about Whisper are those fucking puzzles. So anyway, though, I'm really happy to have this done, which means that, um, well, I guess there's no one to make it for any of this, but I, I really am happy because I do have this. And for those that don't know, I did get my Soul Reaper axe. So uh, we are, you know what, let's, let's really pimp out. Um, no, nope, not that. There we go. We are looking hella sexy. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Like, Desert Treasure 2, it's not fully done yet, so I'll just go through them real quick. Um, Whisperer, obviously I have the completed staff. I have all the vestiges as well, and I have no Virtus and only seven ingots. So I actually need five more ingots to finish off these vestiges. So let's go through, um... Where is Vardorvis? So Vardorvis was really spooned as well. And Leviathan, obviously I got both. And the pet. This is this is this is disgusting. I'm probably even two for three or two of three for another vestige, but like getting another vestige on an Iron Man is actually like a pain in the ass because you actually have to go and get another DK's ring and then create it just to drop it off of your account to sell it. So I'm not really I'm I'm glad, honestly, that I finished Leviathan because Leviathan gives ranged XP and I am 200 mil ranged. So like it's just not optimal to do this boss like super because on top of it being a ranged boss, it also has a ranged multiplier. So all the ranged XP I'm getting, I'm not getting. And it's just, it's really depressing. I wish I wasn't built like that. I wish I could just ignore it. Like, I can't even imagine Hey Jace right now doing every single piece of content he does without getting xp it's i mean i guess he's done so like there's that's one thing but it's it's still just i don't know i like getting xp like real xp so i will go back to virtus oh, wait let's find out let's see the other ones uh duke duke got very lucky at so completed both of these within a stream so it was in like a few tens of kills apart pretty crazy um Duke Succulus, by the way, that Awakened fight. If you guys want to check out the Awakened fights, I posted all four of them on my YouTube channel. So you can just look up Sebe Awakened or something and just see all four of them. They were pretty brutal. Vardorvis, I definitely had the cleanest kill. Leviathan was pretty clean, except for the, like, just almost trapping myself in boulders and shit and just kind of being out in the open, getting fucked up. But uh, the Enrage phase went pretty well. I was happy with that. And Whisperer went extremely cleanly. And that was just really nice. At least my final kill was there. <laughs> All the other kills were just brutal because I kept messing up the memory thing. And uh, yeah, Duke was a bitch because, oh my God. It's just like, there's too much going on. There is way too much going on by the end. And your fang refuses to hit. It just will not hit. It's so obnoxious. So anyway, yeah, Duke was probably like my least favorite I don't know. I don't know what my least favorite. I think Duke was genuinely like 
the toughest to perfect. I think the other three are the, way easier to perfect than Duke. Duke is uh, something else. It's like, it's another beast. So it's a good thing that there isn't more HP to that fight because that would just be like impossible, honestly. Like I had to literally just sit there chugging brews. So anyway, uh, yeah, DT2 is basically complete. I'll probably do Duke, like normal Duke and normal um, Vardorvis just here and there. Just because, I don't know, it would be kind of cool to get the pet. Plus, I can use the Soul Reaper. I don't even... Okay, I think the Soul Reaper actually is kind of good at Vardorvis. I think it may be best in slot. I'm not positive on that. But I know for Duke, it's definitely not. I think uh, like Scythe is or something else. Maybe... maybe I think Scythe's best in slot at Duke, but just barely. So, I'll go back. I, I kind of want to get full Virtus, but at the same time, it's not that important right now. But I do need to get five ingots. So, who knows? Maybe on the way to five ingots, I'll just get Virtus pieces. We'll see. But yeah, getting the pets, but the main goal is just to get those five remaining chromium ingots so I can make the two final rings. And then, honestly, like, I'm kind of chilling. It's a really nice feeling, kind of like just being in that position again where I can kind of chill out and just do what I want. So, who knows? Oh, I got to finish this last quest so I can actually do my hard clothes efficiently. God damn it. Like, not being able to use my quest cave is obnoxious. And I don't even think I have the music cave, yeah. So, I want to get back into clue scrolls um, again. So, as you guys know, I am, like, extremely close to finishing the hard clues. There's only one more piece I need, rune H3. And I do have some stacked caskets, so who knows? Maybe we can work on some of those. Um, and let's see, mediums. I did a lot of mediums before the log, but this is getting nicely filled out and easy. So, I'm not going to really be grinding mediums. I don't think I'll ever camp mediums until they fix the Piro Piro meta i hate that meta so much um easies missing monks and two green elegance so who knows we might do some like easy camping here and there just to get some masters passively as well elites are looking pretty nice i can't believe i still don't have a ring of third age i've done quite a few mimics but we're missing six tuxedo pieces in the log however i do have these cuffs so i technically do have five pieces of tuxedo but i do got to get this back in the log again which is unfortunate and what are the other ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, six pieces. What's, oh, yeah, Ring of Third Age is the other thing I'm missing. And Masters, two Bloodhounds. No Anku yet, which is kind of unfortunate. Five pieces of Mummy, but of course, like the... Eh, I guess this is the best piece, but I don't have the top or the hat or the head, un, unluckily. And yeah, Third Age is looking very sexy, as always. Four pieces tied for rank one on Iron Man. And then I do have full gilded. Only I, I always got to flex that whenever I can. Only Iron with the classic full gilded. Even though it's not in the log, which is awkward. Gilded plate legs are the only piece of mega rare that I don't have in the log. But I do have them. So yeah, um, let's see how many sweets I have. 22,000. So yeah, I'll probably be doing some clue scrolls, probably like camping Seracnus. Um, I really am excited for the item buffs that some items will get. Like this axe is, I'm sorry, this axe needs a buff like quickly, badly as well. I mean, this thing needs to be buffed. I would not be, so he, this is my concern is like, I feel like this axe is in such an awkward position because it's directly competing with a scythe. It's five tick. It's a slash based weapon. And I don't feel like the Soul Reaper can ever even be better than a Scythe just simply because people are going to freak the fuck out that, you know, it comes from a raid rather than these high level bosses and stuff. But I really do think, and I know people are already going to freak out just by me saying this, but I think one of the ways the Soul Reaper X could get a buff that's justified is by maybe adding a charge feature to this. I'm, I'm not completely saying that needs to be the route to go down. But in order for this to like really compete with a scythe, let it just cost something similar to the scythe. The scythe is already getting a um, a nerf in price, or not a nerf, but like uh, it's gonna it's gonna be cheaper. It's only gonna cost two blood urns instead of three, uh, which is cool. And it's all scythe is also getting a plus fifteen slash. So I don't know what they're gonna do to buff this axe. But all I'm saying is, if we want it to like be good and compete, who knows? Maybe. It could just be charged with something. If not, if we want to keep it free, that's fine as well. But then it's just going to be this weird thing where we can't really ever make it too good, which kind of sucks because this thing looks fucking awesome. 
Also, I have been thinking of what this special, I've been actually thinking like as I've used this at Vardorvis for just a few kills, I really want Jagex to come out with two different orbs. And I'll talk about this in a future video because I've actually had some ideas for two different special attack orbs. One is your default special attack and one is like special item special attacks. And I was even thinking maybe even skilling tools would be on the separate like skilling thing. So, or the separate special attack button. So there would be two permanently here and some items use the one where you actually charge it up by hitting with it. And one would just be the generic special attack. So I'm not going to talk much about it. Obviously I need to give you guys the deets of what I'm thinking before you guys are like, Oh, that's a cool idea. If it's a shit idea, but I, I actually think it could be a good thing. And I think it could actually fill other niches as well. So I'm using two different things would be kind of cool anyway um yeah that's the ramble i just wanted to make a quick one just showing off the uh sick fucking fit i have now <laughs> anyway i i'm not gonna lie i kind of miss generic torva i i, I didn't really want to say that but i kind of already miss it i miss the gray i miss the light gray when it's supposed to be light gray this is gray and it's not supposed to be gray it's supposed to be dark god damn it no i'm really happy with it, it looks pretty badass Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe. If you want to support me as a creator, down in the description, there's a Patreon and a YouTube membership link. I appreciate you all. Happy holidays. Have a good one. Take it easy.